Hello, hello! It's me again, Tess Stoddard. Um, don't think about that. I forget about you because I'm, my husband need my help for a procedure. They call it TERP. And that was yesterday. And today I need to drive him back to his doctor to remove the catheter. And uh, I'm... You uh, people, if you have problem about your prostate, talk to your doctor about this new procedure. They call it TERP, and um, they do. They are using laser. I wasn't inside when they did this to him, but uh, if he wants to, he can tell you all about the story. But for now, he requested for a chicken noodle soup. Not not from the can, not from the box. He wants me to cook him chicken noodle soup. Uh, and here, the chicken breast. Uh, that's chicken breast. I add more water, that's why it's like uh, boiling um, slowly, but I turn up the heat. So... It will boil rapidly soon. Uh, so I'm, I will cook him uh, this chicken noodle soup. Uh, and I will add onions, cabbage, carrots. And I don't need to saute this. <laughs> it's just a simple. I will add everything when the breast is ready. But this time, I decided to use mac and cheese. Uh, it will add more protein because he didn't eat uh, the night before the procedure. And the cheese will, will be, uh, will taste it even better. Uh, so I already add that. Let's see how much noodles in there I will use I'll use two boxes I'll use the two boxes of mac and cheese I will add the cheese later there you go and that uh, depends that to how it will taste after we add the cheese um, I will not add any salt or any seasoning. It's just simple. I will add. Uh, I will wait for the noodles to get tender, and then I'll start adding um, the onions, the carrots. I'll do the carrots first because um, it's a little bit uh, harder than the cabbage and the onions. Uh, so there's no sautéing involved in this. It's just a plain um, water that uh, it's in there right now. Okay. And this is all the chicken breast that I add. The meat. It's uh, 16 ounces, one pound chicken breast portion. Right there. Okay. Um, it's boiling. I need to stir it so that the noodles will not stick at the bottom. I like using this uh, this pan for all my cooking because just the two of us and some for sharing. It's just the right size for me. And as you can see, I already add the onions and the carrots so that the carrots will be tendered uh, with the noodles. Okay. He wants chunky meat, so it's chunky. You can chew it. Um, 
so this is almost uh, ready and then I'll just add uh, the uh, the cheese from the mac and cheese and maybe I will add more water now that is uh, it's boiling rapidly I can add the mac and cheese seasoning so your soup will be orange <laughs> if you don't want it orange just add milk before you turn off the the stove okay, there. that's one uh, I would like to try it first for the salt content because lo 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 la we don't <laughs> need salty food in our life okay I can add one more or half of this just half just half of the second envelope okay and if it's too salty for you just add water because this is only water where I started it mm, it tastes good it's yummy for me, just half envelope of the second mac and cheese, and uh, seasoning is just enough. Now I will add the cabbage for a healthier chicken noodle soup. Vegetable. Yeah, it has carrots, it has cabbage, and. Uh, the cheese seed, um, from the mac and cheese uh, that's all also protein the chicken has protein so this is a complete meal yeah it has carbs from the noodles and it has the vegetable that we uh, our body needs okay. we want it uh, not too soupy so uh, I will just add up all of this cabbage it's half cabbage because when they wilted uh, sometimes it's just uh, uh, the amount uh, that you see it's a lot but when it wilted it's just enough for the soup to make it uh, like condensed condensed soup yeah there you go it's all together I'll just let it boil let it boil let it boil and then it's done I will try it again mm. for me uh, the saltiness is just um, good enough for my taste but I don't know about you guys if you want it a little bit more salty you can add uh, the half of the remaining of the cheese here it's right there it's, it's half of it so it's one and a half that I put in there okay this is ready let's all enjoy it this is Lola Tess, Tess is Stoddard, and yung Kates Nisan. Uh, and I cook this for you. Yeah. Yeah. The, I just turn on back the stove so that you see it boiling, but it already turned off by itself because this is ready. Okay. I hope you, you like it. You can try it. Uh, and it's really good it's delicious okay it's a extraordinary soup for a cold weather and for my husband that uh, he just got done from the procedure he's taking a nap upstairs while I'm preparing his uh, request here chicken noodle soup okay uh, next next blog 
join me again and this is Tess Stoddard, your Cates Misan. Please watch, like, share and comment or su and sub subscribe. Okay, thank you, thank you. Ang babait ninyo, thank you.